All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. We just got the T-bars installed and relocated the uh, speedometer and tachometer. If you guys haven't seen those videos, check that out. That's how they look right there. Nice Lucky Dave's 10-inch T-bars. Uh, in this video, what we're gonna be doing is installing this uh, Harley-Davidson quarter fairing. And uh, one thing on this, actually, I, this is the FXDX. I debated heavily on whether to put that fairing on this bike, but uh, I, I do wanna put the uh, T-sport fairing but I'll have to drill uh, right here. I'm just not looking to do that today. So uh, to put this one on, I already had this. This came off another bike. It is scratched up here. I've been waiting to buff it out, but honestly, this this piece right here is $400, I believe, from Harley Davidson. And um, they do make a crater one, which I'll link in the description. I've used on another bike before. It's very comparable. Obviously, the quality is not the same, but I mean, for 60 bucks versus 400, I mean, come on, you make your own decision here. Um, but that's kind of why I haven't buffed this one out, just because the work it's going to take me. It won't be that hard, but it'll be, it'll be my first time doing it and definitely a learning experience. So I uh, haven't haven't taken the time to uh, sand and buff this yet, but definitely considering it. If not, I'll just get the crater one and just store this one anyway, again for later. But uh, let's get to it here. Uh, last time I mounted it, I had a quick release, but I didn't have used brackets. I used a different bracket system. These are super easy to use. And these actually came on this, uh, this windshield you see here that I got with the, uh, the low rider. So these four brackets right there actually are pretty expensive. They have some that are locking. I don't believe any of these are locking. And if they are, I don't have the key. So they do make locking ones and these are actually pretty pricey. So um, see if you can find a deal on those. <clears throat> this piece right here is a bracket. Um, I believe the one from Crater comes with a, a 39 millimeter bracket, which is actually not gonna work on the uh, actually 49 millimeter bracket. I'm not sure what it comes with, but this is the bracket you need. It's from Bunking. Didn't come with any instructions, but I think I could figure it out. And um, this visor is not stock. It's actually <laughs> way larger. So I have to get the, uh, the visor, the, the ring, the headlight trim. So I got this more of a stock headlight trim. I'm gonna pop that on there first, and then I'll start fitting this up to the uh, fairing. Basically, it's gonna, it's gonna mount in. Something like that. But, you know, you get the point. So I'll get working on it and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to start by removing the headlight trim. Just loosely putting that on for now so I can change it later if I need to.
Let's put these on the bike. Let's try with as low as we can first. Okay. Just need to get some bolts for right there. And slide everything back a little bit too, if I can. Okay, so I'm back from the hardware store. Got these little quarter inch bolts. They got that little square right there so it'll lock into the uh, brackets. Uh, washer followed by a lock washer and a lock nut. So what I'm gonna do, got this right side right here. Put the bolt through. Put a washer. Okay, bolt, washer, lock nut, and then nut. Okay, same thing on the other side. Got the bolt in, put a little washer, lock nut, and bolt. Okay. So we got that side in, everything's still loose till we get on the bike and we'll start tightening it up at that point. But uh, that little square seat just fits in there nice and snug. And uh, we'll do the same thing to the other side, get that back together. So I believe it had these two bolts. Everything is loosely fitted, so put this back on the uh, back on the bike. Okay, see how we are on the headlight. Put the top one as high as it will go for now, just to kind of get a gauge. Okay, and looks pretty good. There's a way to tighten this. I put some more tension on them, but uh, feeling underneath, there's a good seal between the headlight. To come a little closer up top, 
So basically what I'll do, I'll squish it in so it's pressed on. There's no gap between the, uh, the foam on the uh, fairing and the headlight ring and tighten everything down. But that's basically how it looks. Cool. All right, check it out. Got the quarter fairing installed. Some of you might call it or refer to it as the uh, clamshell fairing. But uh, this is the uh, OEM one from Harley. It's $400. Um, it's actually off of the uh, first Harley I ever owned, the Sportster. Came off that bike. And that bike, unfortunately, I believe, uh, at some point, um, got some, some rash on it right here. And it scuffed up. So I still need to uh, kind of buff that out. Shouldn't be too big of a deal, but uh, I don't really have the time right now. So what I'll do, they make a much more affordable version uh, on Amazon, uh, made by a few different places. I don't, they might be the same thing, but a few different brands sell it. Um, and it's way under, like way less than even a quarter of the price you can buy this one from Harley. So I'll link those in the description. Um, one thing I found too, Harley sells these, I believe it's like 30 or 60 bucks for just one or one of these pieces here, each one. So that adds up quickly. Um, some of them on Amazon, you can get them, they come with smoked, smoked lens up here and smoked lens down here. I'll tell you right now, you, the smoked lens right here, even if you have an LED light, it, it makes it a lot more difficult to see your light. Sorry about that. I'll, so what I'll... Okay, the, the smoked one, if you have a smoked lens right here, makes it very difficult to see. It actually kind of like really, I mean, blocks a lot of your headlight, even if you have the LED. But I do like the smoked look right here. Um, most of them, they only come either clear, clear, or all black. I did find one recently on Amazon, which I'll link down below. It comes with a black smoked uh, lens right here, and then a clear one right here, which works out great. Otherwise, if you get the all black one, which you can do, leave this one or remove this one. That's what I did on that Sportster I had before. But uh, I'll put a couple different links in the description, let you guys decide. But I'm definitely going to go with that one on Amazon. I believe Crater makes one. There's a couple different companies who make them. But I um, mean, this is how it uh, clamps in right here. Totally quick release. So if you're not into this style of fairing or if you want to take it off, whatever the case may be, I'll show you how easy it is to pop it off, okay? So again, these are the little quick releases right here from Harley. And they do make locking ones uh, in case you want to worry about uh, locking it up. So I'm just going to grab the other side, unlock the other side as well. And just have to be mindful about the visor. I find it best to just remove one side completely and then take the other side off. And just like that, back to the uh, original configuration. So again, if you're not into the fairing, if you want to ride without it that day, it comes off just like that. And looks great. Like I said, I'll be ordering the one off Amazon and actually how that one comes, let me show you. One more quick breakdown if you're ordering from Amazon. I'm not sure I didn't buy this one originally from Harley, but I have bought one off Amazon before. It did come with this bracket right here, which I, it's not the right bracket for the 39 millimeter forks. It may work for 49 millimeter, but it's not gonna work for our setup. So I did have to order these bunking brackets. Um, I'll link that in the description below. And then also have to have, which I had on hand, I saw these off of a windshield. You might be able to find a similar deal used because a lot of people sell the, those clear windshields. Uh, and if you have these brackets, make sure it's the same bracket. Because another bracket system that's not as quick release, it, it leaves some stuff on the bars. Um, these just, everything pops off. You can't even tell it was on there. Um, try to find these used. They're very expensive through Harley. The rubber on these, this one I just realized the rubber's missing right there. But these ones have the rubber, so you just want to be careful how used they are. But these are pretty dang good. And uh, again, went to the hardware store and got some of that uh, hardware to make this possible. But uh, yeah, I like the setup. I think if uh, if you order the one off Amazon, it's very affordable to do, and uh, anybody can do it, as you've seen in the video. So uh, if you like the video, guys, go ahead and drop a comment, drop a like. Check out the other stuff we've done. Again, we've done, just installed the T-bars, relocated the speedometer. I think if a lot of you, if you're watching this video, if you're into that kind of stuff with the quarter fairing, you're into the DX, you're in, I mean, you're gonna like the channel. So go ahead, check it out. Thanks for watching, guys, and catch you in the next one.